Hey friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Oleg and this is one and only Mr. Bond. We like watches. In today's video, we're gonna do a full review of Zelos Nova 38 millimeters. I know that everybody is talking about this new Zelos Swordfish 42 millimeters in titanium. Unfortunately, that's not the watch we're reviewing. I requested to review this watch right here because this seemed a lot more interesting to me. A Zelos dress watch that has these crazy angles so it still looks like a zealous but it's also super slim only 8.8 .8 millimeters and it has this eta movement so this seemed like a very interesting zealous release i really was excited about reviewing it that's what we're gonna do now before we get started i just want to let you know that zealous did provide this watch for the review for free and we get to keep it that's not gonna affect the review we're not gonna pull punches or anything like that i just thought you should know i know what you guys are gonna say you're gonna keep on messaging me oleg why are you wearing your hat why aren't you showing your luscious hair i forgot to book a haircut appointment and that's why i have to wear a hat i know none of you care about that why am i even talking about my hat and hair uh, let's talk about this watch it has a diameter of 38 millimeters from this point to this point but excluding the crown it's 44 millimeters from one lug to another so from this point to this point it has a lug opening of 20 millimeters and it's only 8.8 .8 millimeters thick including that boxed sapphire crystal if you exclude the crystal it's only seven millimeters thick here's the watch on my seven and a half inches or just under 20 centimeters wrist this one fits really well I think it wears larger than the 38 millimeter diameter would suggest. I think this one wears closer to 39, maybe even 40 millimeters, just because it's mainly dial, the bezel is very slim. Uh, so the dial makes the watch look larger. It also has a pretty long lock to lock distance, 44 millimeters. So this is not a small watch by any means. It is, however, a very slim watch only 8.8 .8 millimeters it's one of the thinnest watches i reviewed thus far this is of course a dress watch it needs to be slim and this one will have no problem sliding under the cuff of pretty much any shirt the case material is 316l stainless steel all brushed or satin finish on this case except for a little accent on this bezel it just gives a nice pop of light other than that, every other surface on this case is brushed. Looks quite nice. Even though the case is all brushed, it doesn't look boring. It has a pretty interesting shape, nice sharp angles. Even though this is a Zelos watch like no other, uh, Zelos has developed a pretty good brand identity. So even at one glance, you can kind of tell that this is a Zelos dress watch. Up to this point, they developed enough of a brand character, so their watch is becoming recognizable. That's pretty cool. Assign Zelos crown at the three o'clock position. It's not a screw down crown. It's a simple push pull style crown. Looks pretty good. It's kind of small, but it has to be small because the case is quite slim. We also have a display case back. Look at that. It's not a screw down display case back. It's held in place by these four screws over here. I'm guessing they had to go with the screwed held in place case back because of the thinness. 100 meters of water resistance on this watch, which is pretty good for a dress watch. You're not exactly taking your dress watches diving. Anyways, we might as well talk about the movement. And I think that's the biggest value proposition that this watch presents is the movement. ETA 7001. It's a hand wind movement, a really beautiful, well decorated blue screws, Geneva striping, the whole nine yards. It looks really cool. It beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour, has a sub seconds hand, uh, no date complication on this one, 17 joules, uh, 45 hours of power reserve, and no hacking seconds hand, which is kind of surprising. So if you pull the crown out, that's the first position, that's the time setting position, you can see that the seconds hand is still beating, even though we can set these hands. This isn't a very common movement, which is kind of cool. You have something unique on your wrist, I think one of the mainstream brands that uses this movement is Stova. I've seen this movement in some of their dress watches. Other than that, you don't really uh, come across too many watches, especially from micro brands that have this exact movement. The idea behind the design of this watch was to be reminiscent of uh, dress watches from 1960s and 1970s. I think Zelos pulls that off brilliantly. It does look like a vintage watch with modern specs. Uh, you can see those applied indices. 
the railway track around the dial for seconds or for minutes in this case uh, a little bit of loom on these indices and a little bit of loom on the set of hands applied logo by the 12 o'clock position of course that's sub seconds hand by the six o'clock position concentric circles there applied little loom pips around that sub seconds dial and that's pretty much it not too much complication to this dial it's very nice and simple but it's not flat dial it's not boring it has this nice swirly swirly pattern to it looks really cool it also has quite a bit of sunburst i really enjoy the way this dial plays with light it's very unique and very zealous boxed sapphire crystal it was a great choice usually on a vintage watch that would look like this you would find acrylic crystal i think they imitated that acrylic crystal look perfectly with this boxed sapphire very good quality sapphire crystal some air coating there but yet it still has enough glare to give you that vintage feel a little bit of loom on this dial actually this is the most poorly loomed zealous watch that i reviewed so far which isn't saying much because usually i review their diver watches and those things are crazy filled with loom this is a dress watch doesn't really need that much loom although it has enough i think for a dress watch the loom is excellent the watch comes on the supplied leather strap it's a horween leather strap pretty good quality we've seen similar zealous straps on other zealous watches zealous signed buckle and zealous signed strap pretty good also has quick release pins which are always a welcomed addition and here's the watch on a supplied metal bracelet it's a stainless steel bracelet actually quite intricate I like this bracelet, I like the way it plays with light. Solid links, solid end links. Screw and place pins. And actually each one of these is a separate a link. Butterfly engineered clasp, you close it as so. Double pushers for release. And overall, the bracelet doesn't feel overwhelming and it also doesn't feel like it's overweighing the watch where the watch head itself is too light and the bracelet is too heavy. It's well balanced. And even though the bracelet is actually pretty good, still I prefer the watch on the supplied leather strap and I feel like a lot of you guys would as well. I think this watch just looks better on a supplied leather strap. Which brings me to my negatives of this watch. What are the negatives? Well, actually overall the watch is very competently done. It's a great quality watch. I don't think you'll be disappointed with the quality of it. Uh, if you like the design, I don't think you'll be disappointed with the design of it. It looks even better in person. However, the price is quite high, 769 US dollars. Yes, it has this unique ETA movement. That's not a cheap movement to put into these watches, but this isn't like one of those zealous no-brainers, amazing value watches that you must buy right now, otherwise it will sell out. This is for a very specific type of a buyer. And even though this dial is beautiful and it's a huge plus to this watch, I've seen a very similar dial on a different Zelos watch. This is their Zelos Mako version 3. As you can see, this watch right here has a very similar swirly dial, just done in green. And this watch is a lot cheaper. Of course, it has the worst movement and it's not the same dress watch, it's not as slim, but the dial is roughly about the same. So the value proposition of this Zelos Nova is not as great as other Zelos watches. It might sound like I'm overly negative on this watch. I do quite like it. I think this is an excellent watch. Uh, the quality is there. I liked the boxed sapphire crystal. I like the see-through case back. This movement is so beautiful to look at. Uh, the dial is amazing, even though we've seen similar dial on Mako watches. It still is amazing to look at, but the price is pretty high. 770 US dollars if you still are able to buy one on their release price, because the way uh, Zillow does their pricing for the first week or two, the price is uh, lower. And then after a couple of weeks, I think this one is going up in price in about a week, is gonna be up another $100. Again, it's a nice watch, but it is an expensive watch. If you're looking for a great value for money banger from Zillow, uh, I don't think this one is it. I appreciate you watching this video until the end. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review, subscribe to the YouTube channel, we release new videos every week, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about my hat. Should I wear it more often? I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, leave comments about the Zealous. What do you think about it? Are you picking one up? Did you already add one to your collection? Leave all those thoughts below. I always enjoy reading your comments. By the way, today on my wrist, I'm wearing my vintage 
Bomber Mercier 1950s chronograph. Really love this timepiece. I did a video all about it. That video can be found on the YouTube channel. I will also leave it linked in the description below. Also in the description below, there are a couple of other links. The first link is a secret link. Have a look if you're curious. The second link is a link to bondnatorstraps.com. If you're looking for a great quality native strap and want to support this YouTube channel at the same time, buying one of these native straps is a great way to do so. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Too much you not enough bond. That's a problem. The viewers will not like that. Good boy. Okay, okay, okay. you go straight to the source. Not fair. I see you. You figured it out, huh? You think it's so clever.